What up, what up? It's your player partner, 2 Chains, and right now you are tuned in to NiceKicks.com. They've been rocking with me since day one. I appreciate the love. True. First of all, how y'all doing? I go by 2 Chains. <laughs> I'm very happy to be here. It's an exciting time in my life right now. Um, I'm just now headlining my first tour, so I've released two albums the last two years. And fortunately enough, I've been able to release a pair of shoes during All-Star Weekend to commemorate. And then, of course, collaborating with Adidas to put out some shoes to celebrate. That was, was a big moment in my life. It's just different. Um, it didn't hit me too late. With an album, you do so much. Um, listening, fine-tuning, mixing, and mastering. It's a different process of just waiting and when it released with the shoe, it's like you, you know they're coming and you're just excited for, first of all, the people around you internally. It starts there to be excited and then it kind of like blows out from there. But for me, um, it's just cool to see other people wearing shoes that out on my behalf it's just you know it's the same you know you hear people listening to your music and they they digesting the music and they repeating the words word for word that's that's a feeling in itself but when you see people actually wearing something that you had something to do with the design that's always a great feeling the feedback has been awesome man i woke up this morning to some dope text messages about it being sold out in a few stores in atlanta georgia and that's where i'm from so it feels good for my actual hometown to support what I'm doing as well. The croc, of course the skin period, you know what I mean? Um, the high top, I'm always wearing high top. I'm, come on man, I'm, 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 I am the bad guy. I'm always in black, got the hints of gold. It's, it's a, a sheer reflection of my personality, I feel like. Um, it's like, you know, I'm, I'm an accessory kind of guy, man. And you know, people may think I'm flashy, but for the most part, I'm kind of subtle. But if you look close to the detail, that's where the flashy comes in. And that's, and that's what it says a lot about this shoe. So I'm in a twilight zone, and I'm like, it just, it, you know, I've known about it for a minute. And then just to not be able to say nothing because you don't want to jink yourself. You don't want to just, now, I was one of those kids that used to say I had the joints before they came out. And then when they came out, they have me my size and I have to lie for like six more months until everybody forget that I don't have them. So with the shoe, I didn't want to say I got this shoe. And then something happened. So, you know, when it came down to do the countdown and to start prepping and getting people ready for it and the tour and all that jumping off, it just felt organic, it felt natural, and it's definitely a blessing for me and my campaign. Oh, uh, fashion sense coming up. Uh, the Dipset had their own style coming up. I felt like they set uh, trends with, with their belt buckles and minks and things like that. Uh, a lot of New York cats, Harlem cats, I feel like had um, style. You know, it just depends. You know, you had your Run DMC with their flavor of Adidas and how they wore them without laces and everything. I just remember that being an epic when I was a kid. But, you know, different people brought different um, signature, you know, trends to the forefront. For me, it was a lot of black and gold things early on in my campaign. I've, I've been wearing them since the tour started, really making my consumer jealous. He's the you know, hardest shoes I got on, I'd just be, you know, letting the whole crowd see them and stuff. And I knew they couldn't get a pair for a long time. So, and then when I'm in the studio, I mean, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. I really, really like this shoe. I'm not just saying it because they're mine. I really like everything. I like how they, I like how they drop my jeans, drop on the shoe and all. I just, I just rock with them, man. I feel like they was just... I wouldn't change one thing about these right now. I want just some more innovative ideas, some more creativity, um, some more culture shocking, you know, things that's what we do, man. Just, I guess, take it to the next level, man. It's fun to just actually see what influence we have on the culture. And so we'll keep continue pushing the margin. Hopefully we'll ho um, hurry up and sell out of these and start working on another pair.